Hey y'all, I just kind of needed to put a post up because I'm exhausted. Um, if you don't know, this Sunday is Bimbrook Pride, June 2nd, from 12 till 5 at the Bimbrook Fairgrounds. Um, that's kind of majority of my stress, but also I've been feeling pretty crappy and things haven't been going awesome. And I guess like maybe I'm feeling overly sensitive, but I think it's completely valid for me to feel this way. And I just kind of needed to get it off my chest. Um, so as most of you know, I am the founder and uh, creator runner of Trans Fellas, have been for nine years. And I also have run um, groups in the city when I lived in Hamilton, social meetup groups and stuff. Uh, if you look far, if you look back to trans fellas before I started phalloplasty, I was actually doing a lot of giveaways. I purchased, like, I didn't use anybody else's money. Like, if I made merch, I never took money back. I used it to give money back. Binders, sorry. Binders, packers, trans-related items and stuff like that. And in a small amount of time, I actually ended up getting $5,000 back to the trans community worldwide. I've shipped all over the world, all over. And then this year is the fourth year of Bimbrook Pride. And the first year was in 2019 and there weren't any prides going on outdoors. And we were kind of allowed to gather in small groups. And since Bimbrook is a small rural town, I decided to do a pride and I paid for it out of my own pocket. I got all the, queer decor, music, free stuff, uh, whatnot. And I went and sat in the middle of town and I sat up all by myself. And in the last three years, I've been head of Pride. So if you've been following, I'm head and founder of Trans Fellas and I've done multiple other things in my spare time whilst doing these things. <laughs> and I don't need anybody to be like, oh my God, you're fucking amazing or whatever it may be, but it does hurt my feelings, especially when I work so hard and I don't get paid. I get paid nothing. I do this. I do I, everything I do. I do for free. Nobody pays me. Nobody sends me money. Nobody, nothing. And I don't want them to. But at the end of the day, like pride is coming up and I keep noticing on posts that we put up that people are keep on saying like, oh, I can't ma wait to meet so-and-so and I can't wait to meet so-and-so or this vendor or that vendor. And I'm just sitting here like, the fuck am I? You know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to, I don't think that I'm big shit or nothing, but like at least saying that you would like to like come say hi to me, the guy who sat there alone that could have got his ass beat in the middle of a rural town, the guy that gave over 5K back and stuff to people and still continues to do things for people. And like, it just hurts my feelings to be quite honest. Like I, it's like, I love the fact that everybody wants to get together and everybody wants to meet everybody. But like, sometimes I don't think people do it on purpose to hurt my feelings at all. I just think that sometimes people need to pay attention a little bit more and realize that sometimes, even though they're saying something nice to somebody else, if this thing is repetitively being said to other people, but not to the person that is bringing you what you are, the event, the whatever it is, the help I've, you know, I can go on if you've followed me for this entire time. If you go check out my YouTube channel, whatever it is, you can see everything that I've done. And at the end of the day, like, I don't expect nothing from nobody, but I honestly just, it hurts my feelings to sit there and watch other people get just so much love from everybody else. And then when you've busted your butt and every single day when you wake up either helping somebody else with trans fellas or through pride pride i also run community bimbrook which is which is a social support meetup as well so like i do a lot and it just really hurts sometimes that i can't even get acknowledged i created my own two-spirit logo it's been flown on my reserve for pride and powwow multiple years and it flies at bimbrook pride and still like you know what i mean i don't think that I deserve big praise but you know I don't think it's out of the question that somebody might want to say hi to me and even not e like not even acknowledging 
what I've done in any shape or form is really hurtful and upsetting and it just makes me feel like a bag of shit. So I kind of just wanted to share that with people that, you know, sometimes you don't realize how much somebody has given and maybe you should just give a hello back or a good job or like a high is fine, honestly. But yeah, I've just, it's a thing that happens all the time. And I, you know, I let it slide, I let it go. But over time, it does start to hurt your feelings when a lot of the people too who say these things are people that I have personally helped out, whether I've met them in person or not. So I don't know, I'm just saying like, it's pride season. And even though pride is this month or the entirety of summer for most places, you got to remember all year round as well to be kind to everybody. And if there are people out there that are busting their butts to help others out, just give them a hey or like good job because you know what? It could really help. It could really make them feel really good about themselves because a lot of us don't get the appreciation or the thank yous or even a hello if you see us in public and it actually does really hurt because whether you think so or not we do recognize a lot of you it's not that you're just a follower like we recognize your face your name you know that kind of thing so in future just be kinder please and i know that other people are only being kind by saying they want to meet somebody else but at the same time, it just really kicks you in the stones when you've set up something and you've done something and you've risked your own neck for everything that you do and not one person says, hey, I'd like to meet you. It hurts, man.